Hello subscribers, good morning. I am driving to school, like always. So last night I got home, I was so grumpy, like there's a couple of messes around the house, I was hungry. Um, and I realized whenever I'm grumpy, David is so good at um, not making me more grumpy, but um, also just like helping me get out of the grumpies, like where he, he just gets really calm. And then he also kind of makes fun of me a little bit. Yeah, it's awesome. Hello, Key. Along with I just say I'm grumpy, I articulate that I'm in a bad mood. Immediately, he's like, not anymore, Mom. I got this. So, lucky, lucky me. So, as I have free time, because I'm not going to the gym today, I have not gone grocery shopping in a week or two, so I decided to go grocery shopping. And Trader Joe's was my favorite grocery store when I lived in Phoenix, and I have not gone shopping there since I lived in Phoenix, which was oh, five, 12 years ago now. But there's one right where I get off in Kalamazoo, so I just bought produce. They have the best prices. They actually have wine for like $2.99 a bottle, but I didn't bring an ID in, so I did not buy any wine. I just bought some groceries. But I, the store is like just an amazing store. It's so comfortable and friendly and open and fresh and clean, and they have good prices. So everyone should shop at Trader Joe's. I should get paid for these commercials I make. Heading back to Elkhart. Today, I went to the grocery store because <laughs> I had spare time, and then I, I just went to class, uh, school, and studied all day. And one, one of my classmates was there already, another one came like an hour later, another one came a little after that. So, we mostly discussed contracts, which is the class we had today, but then we also discussed some constitutional law stuff. Today, we did in contracts. The topic was on um, damages, so like the money you get, compensatory or restitution. Um, of course, like I looked over the slides and I created a formula that you just plug in the numbers and bam, you've got the amount of time. And it's super simple. So I wrote it down for everybody and it was like, yay, finally, finally there's something that I get. <laughs> I get well and easy. And the dude that does constitutional law that knows that super well, he's like, I will help you with that, you help me with this, and I'm like, deal. So, I don't know why I'm going to law school when I clearly just love math. <laughs> I can just do math all the time. I loved math in high school. The reason I don't actually do math is because I haven't done it in so long that I don't remember all the, like, I where I was at previously. I'm not there anymore, so that's why. It's crazy, the, the contracts law class, like, I just get it, so like it just fits in my head. And even though I'm completely going to law school to um, change law, like criminal justice law, to, to address the the history of uh, racism and oppression within our legal system, to help address change that. There's this like awareness for the first time in my life, like. When I finish this, I'll actually be able to have a job that I make money. Like, I've been pretty much poor my whole life, and I'm not poor working at CCJ, but I'm just over the poverty line, like, just barely. So, to think of, like, having money that I can comfortably pay, whatever, and not worry about groceries, actually, like, like that's the simplicity of my dream is to one, not worry about where I'm gonna, how I'm gonna pay for food, and two, when the kids want or need whatever stuff I want, I like to be able to support that. Whether it's taking Serenity out for her birthday or buying them their, their shoes for soccer. Like, just all the little expenses that come up when you don't have money and you live check to check, you can't afford that little stuff. And that, it's so stressful, and I, like, I feel like such a failure when I can't afford to get the kids stuff they need. So, I mean, like, I do whatever I need to do to figure out how to make sure they have 
they don't go without a girl. I mean, it's still reasonable. Like, they don't need video games and shit like that. But if they want to they wanna play a sport, then they need the sporting equipment. So, I'd given in school, they were allowed to buy their own recorders, which were like flutes, kind of. And I gave Serenity money for that and to buy some books in the books from there. Well, she spent um, more money than she was supposed to, not on books, but on crap, like toys and racers. As I told her, books only. And her grandma had given her some money too. But um, she spent so much money, she didn't have enough money to pay for the recorder. So then she, of course, just went without the recorder. I was um, pretty annoyed with her, but it's probably not her fault. No one's taught her how to budget. I don't, it's um, seen like, well, she's not that she is not capable of knowing things, she's never been taught a lot of stuff. And so it makes me often have this sense of like um, pride in David that he knows and can navigate these various things like budgets and money. Like when he gets money, he doesn't need to go waste it immediately on a bunch of shit, crap. Instead, he saves it until he like wants something often big. And he might buy us some crap too. Like, I mean, he definitely loves to get pizza delivered and pay for that himself. But as soon as he gets money, he's not buying pizzas. Like, he, I think he, he does well at kind of balancing big expenditures and budgeting to get those as well as like enjoying some small things too. So it's neat to see that he knows that stuff. It's just like the, the organization and the time he takes in putting stuff away and that Serenity's never been taught that. So she finishes something and she just leaves these messes behind her because she's never actually been taught to clean up after herself. So um, I appreciate where David is at and I am happy that Serenity's issue is not an inability to achieve responsibility, just a lack of being taught. So, well, I'll let you know how the rest of my afternoon goes.